Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and today I'm going to tell you how to create a photo album using PowerPoint. A very, very beautiful feature of PowerPoint. Well, to do that, uh, all you need to do is simply go to the insert tab, click on photo album and click on new photo album. It will open up a dialog box for you. It says insert picture from that is the location from where you can uh, get your pictures and you have to keep in mind that the pictures have to reside on your hard disk or on the system on which you are using this PowerPoint application and the other features I'll explain as we use them so I'll click on file or disk and it will take me to my pictures folder or to a specified folder in your computer when uh, as per your display as per your computer settings so if it doesn't take you to the right place you can use this panel and go to the pictures folder or wherever the pictures are kept in your computer and then either you can choose a single picture one at a time or you can click on the control select all of them press the control button and click your mouse on the pictures you want to select and then click on insert and it will take all the pictures into this album it will it has inserted these pictures see now some basic things insert a text box what it does is that it will insert a new slide after every slide after the slide that is highlighted if you select all the slides then it will uh, insert a slide after all these and then comes either you want captions below all pictures or no and then comes all pictures in black and white yes or no it gives you a live preview here also I do not want my pictures to be in black and white and it can also help you in changing the positioning of the pictures that is you want this uh, picture of the desert to be on the top so that is how we can have it you want the tulips to be at position 5 so we can have tulip at position 5 I want that desert should be deleted from here so I'll remove it from here itself if I want to rotate this picture I can click this option to rotate it left or rotate it right and the real-time preview is available here I can choose the contrast or the brightness also and then comes the layout as of now this picture is is using the fit to slide mode that is the complete picture would be reflecting over here on this complete slide with no spaces left at the borders if I use the option one picture it will show spaces like these if I choose you can have then two pictures in a frame you can have four pictures in a slide you can have one picture with a title a very good thing to have two pictures with a title keep in mind you are getting only one title <laughs> four pictures with a title and I prefer to use fit to slide and if you choose one picture or any other format you can choose the frame type rounded rectangle you can see the preview here simple frame black and so on and so forth my again favorite fit to slide you can even choose a theme from here you click on browse and you can click on all those choose on all those themes these are simple uh, test and try methods uh, that whether you like a theme or not but however once you've selected a theme you can even change it I'm clicking on cancel I do not want a theme as of now but yes I do want to create this slide this uh, sorry this photo album so all I need to do is now I will click on create it will open up a new presentation and create a photo album it will name it by default as photo album you can change it and will name it by default as your as the author you as the author you can even change that and here comes the photo album see such beautiful photographs such a beautiful thing it can create a photo album almost 
instantaneously without any hard work. But a little bit of smart work and a little bit of training from your guru at myelesson.org. So, today we covered how to create a photo album using PowerPoint presentation. So, until the next video, this is your guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.